or make a stir joined us so yeah a nice slow steady one this evening and do you know stop and drink if you need to do take your um take your rest breaks but hopefully you'll just feel relaxed afterwards and well stretched out so if you want to come to start and um, we're going to start in standing do a little bit of work in standing a few strength challenges so we're not completely neglecting our strengths but on the whole, mainly just moving slowly with our breath. So, come to stand for me, hands resting down by your side. And just begin with some shoulder shrugs. So bring the shoulders up towards the ears with the breath in. And down and away with the breath out. Good, keep it going. Slowly in, shoulders creep up. And down and out. And again, lovely. Just really try and slow your breathing down. Your heart rate is likely to be a bit raised just because of the temperature. But let's see if we can slow and steady that heart rate, that blood pressure by using our breathing. One more. Lovely. Now set those shoulders down into your back pockets. So we're going to bring that movement into the arms now. So slowly coming up with the breath in and out with the breath down. Now, even though we're not working too much on strength, we are still gonna be nice and precise with the movement. So think about the position of your shoulder blades as your hands float up and over the top, almost drawing them down and away from the ears. And also the placement of your rib cage. The ribs are gently drawing down towards your waist, even as your hands come up and over to the top. Lovely. Palms facing into one another. We've got three more. Keep that breath work nice and slow. Two more. Opening out the shoulders. Okay, one more. And then we are going to add a little bit of leg work. So make sure your feet are roughly hip distance apart. We're going to add a really shallow squat on this next one. So as the hands come above the head, just sit back down into your heels. And what should happen then is that your arms look as if they're kind of resting a little bit further forwards than they were before. But that's just because you changed the position of your trunk. So your hips travel backwards, making your um, shoulders and hips kind of create a diagonal line and your arms continue that diagonal line. So your end point is here rather than here, okay? So keep that diagonal line through your arms. Good, to keep it going. Slow, steady breaths. Watch those shoulders aren't starting to creep up. We've got three more. If you wanna go a bit deeper with the legs, you can, otherwise just keep it nice and light this evening. Two more. And then we're gonna hold this next one. So you're gonna sit into your heels, hands coming up and over, just in that diagonal line, and draw your tummy in towards your spine, holding here, 10, nine, looking a couple of feet in front of you, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, bring the arms down and just come back up to stand again. Just give those arms a little bit of a shake through. Okay, now we're gonna place hands on the hips from here, okay? Coming back down into that little squat, but this time releasing one hand and taking it up and over into side bend. Come back to the center, stay in the squat if you can and swap sides. So not a deep squat, not too challenging on the legs, just a little bit of load for those thighs. Now watch that top arm, okay? We're not ending here. We've got that lovely gap between the shoulder and the ear, drawing the shoulder blade down and away from the ear. Breathe in at the center and then out as you stretch. And just let your nose 
kind of follow the line of your breastbone. So your head stays in line with your spine, creating that lovely C shape. Good, standing up if you need to. Give the legs a little bit of a rest. And then when you can, join back in, back into that nice little knee dip. Watch the position of your knees, yeah? Making sure that your knees aren't caving into one another. Still working the outer side of the hips as we do that by gently opening the space between the knees. Looking good, everyone. Okay, we're gonna hold it on one side. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stay here if you can. We're gonna load up the leg that's opposite to the side that your arm is lifted by extending this opposite leg out to the side. So we tap out and in, out and in. Keep that shallow dip on that standing leg. That should be warm now, yeah? If it's not, go a bit deeper. If it's too hot, stand up, stretch it out, come back down again. So not a huge amount of loading, but lots of holds today. Sometimes the holds are harder, okay? Really extend that leg out to the side, squeeze your thigh, tap, tap your toe, get it as far away as you can. Three more. Two more. And then we lengthen and we hold. So we're in this side bend now, okay? Toe tap down on the ground, bring your hand back over onto your hip, okay? Keep the standing leg soft, and then we're gonna take it into lift and lower. Might be that your leg just comes half an inch off the floor. Doesn't need to be high. This leg's working super hard now. This hip is working hard here to lift that leg. Try and keep the top half of your body nice and still. So you're not kind of throwing your weight across. If you need to hold on to something, do so. Back of the chair, mantelpiece, person who stood next to you. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Then if you can, lift and hold. Nice bit of balance. Take that top hand back up and over. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, come back to stand and just march out through those legs. Probably should have warned you that was a bit of a balanced one. Um, so yeah, we'll go there, go on the second side. So if you need to move yourself around where you're stand, standing, find something to support onto, please do so. Okay, so back to where we came from. So bending the knees, okay? We reach over to the side. We hold here, five, four, three, two, one, take it into leg tap, out and in, out and in, lovely, really light touch with your foot on the mat, loading this knee up now, you've got a, a beam of light shining out this kneecap, so make sure that it doesn't shine towards that direction, it's pointing forwards, and that's going to help you build up this lateral thigh, Good, a little bit of a tilt if you can, so you're kind of creating that diagonal line, that's better, well done. Three more. Two more. Stretch and hold. Hand comes up and over on that top hip again, and then we lift and lower. That hand on the top hip just gives you a little bit of feedback as well to make sure you're not just hitching your pelvis to lift your leg. So these pelvic bones should stay exactly where they are. Maybe holding on to the wall for support. Doesn't have to be high, could just be this. This leg should be working hard. This hip should be getting warm. Four more. Three more. Keep that top line still. Two more, lift and hold, and bring that top arm back in again. So you're trying to create a line from your fingertips to your toes. Five, four, three, two, 
and one well done come in and again just march through those legs okay a little bit more stuff in standing then we'll come down onto the mat just slowing things down again so even though we were holding then if you're feeling it like me your heart rate's gone up a little bit so a little bit of shoulder rolls now breathe in if you bring your shoulders up and out as you bring them down so i want you to come forwards up round and down backwards good forwards up round and down and backwards lovely now we're going to work a bit more into our balance so we're going to add a heel raise now so as the shoulders come up heels come up and then as they come down heels come down lovely try and keep that pelvis nice and level and if you want to add a little bit of a tightening through the pelvic floor so back passage to front passage lovely slow and steady don't need to move quickly but sometimes that's harder so even though we're being kind to ourselves by moving slowly we've got to control that movement a little bit more okay three more of these and then we hit the balance challenge even more two more lovely lifting and holding set your shoulder position so shoulders down and away from the ears heels are lifted holding that um, heel lift balance option if you wish add your glance over to one side and over to the second side going back to that first side and that second side and then coming forwards and lowering down and once more give those legs a little bit of a shake out from where you're stood okay final thing in standing and then we'll have a little drink break and come down onto the mat so nice wide stance here take those feet out to the side point them to the corners of your room or your garden if you're outside okay and then just working on your pelvic tilt so you might find it's a bit of a balance challenge as we're, you know, in quite a narrow um, base of support here. Just working on tucking the tail underneath and then sending the tail to the back of your room. Shoulders are down, nice tall and long spine. We're going to add a little bit of a squat now. So we took the tail underneath and then see if we can slide down our wall keeping the shoulders pressed against the wall push up to stand and then just tilt your pelvis away again yeah so it took underneath pelvis um, points down towards the floor tailbone points down towards the floor lower that tailbone down then push back up to stand tailbone tilts away okay so just adding that squat in between now took under and then squeeze your pelvic floor as you come up to stand and release and tilt the pelvis. Yeah, so just adding that little pelvic motion in between. As you come down into your squat, think about that knee position. Now you're following your knees in the direction of your toes, opening your hip joints out, going a little bit lower if you're feeling warm. Otherwise, just keeping it comfortable this evening. Looks good. Well done, shoulders stacked over hips. Three more. Don't worry, I won't keep you here in any nasty holds. Add that little pelvic tilt. Feel the difference between the tail tucked under and the tail sent away. Two more. And one more, lovely. Come back up to stand and just narrow your stance ever so slightly. Okay, finishing off here just with some roll downs. So nice and tall to begin with. We'll do a few of these. Just peel down through your spine, one bone at a time. Soft knees if you need to. Rolling down over your hips, over your knees releasing the hands in front of you before you tuck under and stack back up to stand again 
Woo. Same again. So just breathe through that roll down. Piece of wallpaper being peeled away from the wall. I definitely wouldn't want to be stripping wallpaper in this weather. <laughs> and then building up through the bones in your spine. Gradually reaching further as you go down. And hopefully you notice the increase in flexibility maybe compared to when we start these movements maybe in the winter months. Just be careful about rolling over, head over heart, especially if you're feeling a bit warm and flustered. Take your time, just do what you can. One more, rolling down. And then bring yourself down onto your mat into a box position. So just take a moment just to adjust your cameras, have a quick drink, and then join me on the mat in your box. You're all still with me, aren't you? Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to continue this kind of nice, slow, steady flow on our mats now. And um, starting with our cat cow, but then I've got something slightly different. I think we did this in one of the evening classes last week. I think it's really nice. But just start off with your normal cat cow. So again, lifting the tailbone up to the ceiling and then tucking the tailbone underneath. And of course, bringing your awareness back to your breath and using that gaze just to increase that movement through your upper spine. Looking forwards and lifting the chin for a stretch in the front of the spine and then dropping the chin to the chest for a stretch in the back of the neck. Okay, once you've done this next one, just bring it back to centre. We're going to change the hand position slightly, but carry on with cat cow. So the right hand crosses over the left hand, okay? So you've just brought your hands into a position like this, okay? And now you're going to cat cow from here. Now what you should feel that that's done is just kind of in your cat stretch, it's just brought a little bit more focus in between your shoulder blades. So think of that focus, really draw your attention to that mid upper back and see if you can really press your hands into the mat as you push into your cat stretch. Okay, really nice upper back stretch with a little bit of side flexion. And you might even feel it a little bit more in that right shoulder, back of the right shoulder just because we've created tension by crossing the hands over. So if you do do any kind of back stretches in your own time, maybe this could be something you could incorporate. Back to the centre with your hands after your next one, and then swap that over. So left hand crosses over right, and we go again. Enjoy that slow, steady breath. Just let your body move. Sometimes we don't want to move when it's hot, but it's good to good to get that movement in, isn't it? A few more on this side. So now just feeling it a little bit more in that left shoulder. And you can really counteract that by pressing your hand into the mat. So as your back arches, push the floor away from you. Create as much tension as you can. And it's also strengthening your wrists at the same time as we load the hands up. One more. Okay, and back to the centre. Hands back into box position. Take it into tail swish for me. So just let your pelvis gently rock from side to side. Now this is one that we do do in class, but sometimes you um, feel a bit self-conscious of what you're doing. So now you're in your comfort of your own home. Really let that pelvic rock to the one side and then to the other. Imagine you've got a big bushy tail and you're just swaying it from left to right. Shortening the bones in your pelvis and rib cage on one side and then on the other. Now swish your tail to the right, keep it across to the right and see if you can sit your hips back. Come back to the centre, swish your tail to the left, keep it to the left 
and then push your hips back again. So just kind of combining that tail swish now with our shell stretch. So it should feel a little bit different on your hips. So when you stretch to the left, closing a little bit more down into that right hip. So do what you can with it. Breathe out as you push your hips back towards your heels. One more on each side. And then bring your tail back into the center and sit back in between your knees. So no swishing in the tail now and sit as deep as you can into that shell stretch. Maybe just letting your head come down onto the mat if it's comfortable for you. And we're gonna do five deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep going with your breathing. Not counting you down, I want you just to work at your own pace and then I'll bring you back once I've done five. You may manage to fit a few more in. And final breath out, nice and slow and steady. Now we do for time, lovely, okay. Back into your box position. Bit of strength work, but something fairly straightforward. So your option is to do leg on its own or to do arms and legs. We're gonna take it into our swimming. So make sure that the back of the head is lifted, shoulders away from the ears and tailbone tucked underneath. Draw your tummy towards your spine. So take your right leg out behind you, toe can stay down on the mat or we can lift it. And then the option of adding the left hand here and we're just gonna lift and hold. Keep your spine as straight as you can and try not to twist. Keep holding, lifting the back of the neck. Breathe. Keep holding, same side still and replace the hand and the foot back down on the mat. And we swap over, yeah? So left leg stretches out behind. Maybe the toe stays down, maybe the foot lifts, maybe adding the hand. Being mindful not to banana the back, so we don't wanna arch the back, we wanna keep that tail tucked underneath. Lift and hold, draw your tummy away from the mat. The holds are hard, good. See if you can get your hand in line with your shoulder. That's it. Good, and swap back to your first side again. Do one more on each side. Good stuff, well done, well set. So leg, four leg and arm, keep holding. Make sure you're not drifting off towards the side where your leg is on the mat. And lower and swap final side. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Watch that shoulder position. Make sure even though you're reaching above your head, your shoulders aren't creeping up with your ears. Three, two, and one, lovely, come down onto the mat, come onto your back and just hug your knees in towards your chest. So final five minutes now, we're gonna do a bit of abdominal strengthening, but again, nothing too strenuous. So do what you can with it, but just enjoy a moment of knee hug. And then set yourself back up in rest position, so knees are bent, okay. Gently press down into the small of, um, into the mat with the small of your back, and then ease away. Gentle pressure, and release. Doesn't that feel good? Breathe out as you press down, and in as you lift up. 
and out as you press down, in as you lift up. Okay, find that neutral spine, maintain your neutral spine. As you float your left leg into tabletop position, then we extend the left leg into the center of the room. Then we keep that gentle pressure on our sponge as we lower our left foot down towards the mat. Go as low as you can without letting your back arch. Any clunking in your hip, just keep that movement a bit smaller. And then slowly lift your leg back up to the starting position, fold back into tabletop and lower down. Replace and repeat. So knee stacked into tabletop, lengthen away. Lower down, breathe out as you lower down. In as you come back up and then fold back to tabletop. Just keep alternating left and right. So the leg lengthen, the lengthening of the leg creates load for the abs. So as we increase the load by lowering the foot down, maybe draw your tummy in towards your spine. Although those abs will be working, especially if you're managing to do that without your back arching off the mat. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, once your leg is in that lowered position, so we come down here, you can add abdo prep. So hands behind the head, heel the head and shoulders off the mat, lower the head and shoulders back down, bring your foot back up to leg stretch, fold back into tabletop and lower down. So just adding that little abdo prep in at the bottom of the movement, lengthen, lower, just pause at the bottom, breathe in, adding the abdo prep with your breath out, remember everything from abdo prep is about the rib cage shortening towards the waist. If the abdo prep isn't for you, you can just hold your leg a little bit longer in that lower leg position, but remember it's all about that sponge in the small of your back. When you lower your leg down, can you keep that pressure on your sponge or is your back arching off of the mat? Let me come and see how you're doing. Not long now, a few minutes left. Slow, steady, but beautiful control. Well done, slowly down. The slower down you go, the more your back is going to have to control that. So this is a good one for any kind of back pain, working within that controlled range. Good. Nearly there. Okay, we're going to add, just to finish, a hold at the end. So you can hold with the head on the mat or with the head lifted. Okay, so lower the leg down. So you're either going to pause here we're going to float the head and shoulders off the mat and then we take the hands into hundreds and pulse. Tummy is gently drawn in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Drop the head if you need to. 3, 2 and 1. Lowering the head and bringing that leg in towards you. Okay, final side, once more, we go again. So float the knee into tabletop, lengthen the leg away, extend and lower, hold, set that position, check in on your pelvis, interlace your fingers, float your head and hands off the mat if you're going for the abdo prep, otherwise keep the head down and then reach the hands down by your side, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, watch that chin to chest, make sure there's a gap, five, four, three, two, and one, lovely, bring your right knee in, and your left leg in, and pause there for me. Have a little hug, well done. So just thank yourself for spending the last half an hour I'm sure you would have all rather have sat in your garden with a nice cold drink, um, but you can reward yourself now. Put some effort into your mind and your body. And even though it wasn't too strenuous, you definitely helped 
loosen off any stiffness and brought that focused attention to those important muscle groups. So take your time to stretch out a little bit longer if you need to. If you feel like you just want to lie down on the mat for a little bit, please feel free to do so as well. Otherwise, come to sit when you're ready. 